The member for Werriwa. Uh, thank you, Deputy Speaker. I move the motion relating to Pregnancy Infant Loss Awareness Month in the terms in which it appears on the notice paper. The member has the call. 36 years ago, when we lost our first child, families experienced stillbirth were unable to register the birth or the death of their child. Parents and mothers were told to go home and forget about it and try and have another baby. Now in New South Wales, you can register a stillbirth and an early pregnancy loss. This makes a tangible difference to parents, ensuring that everyone recognises what, it, what has happened to them and their family. Next month marks Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month, with the 15th of October Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Day, a moment in which hundreds of thousands of families across Australia remember and mark the shared loss of their babies. The loss of a baby is heartbreaking. The sorrow, the grief, and the pain that is felt is um, the emotions experienced are unique and unimaginable, and it is an experience that devastates families. The thought of what could be at those times when families are celebrating birthdays, weddings, footy grand finals and graduations, uh, when those who are missing are most acutely felt. Every year, 3,000 families are told that their babies will not survive. And yearly, the estimate is 100,000 women will experience miscarriage. It is estimated that 25% of pregnancies end in miscarriage, an, experiencing, an experience that is unfortunately too common. Yet despite, this experience, despite the experience of a quarter of those who will get pregnant, it is often overlooked and diminished with well-meaning but misplaced comments. Being told, don't worry, you'll have another baby, or at least you can get pregnant, does nothing to ease the grief, because we wanted our baby and not to have to start again. Whilst well-meaning these comments are, their comments are the consequence of a much broader, more systemic issues of health and women in our society, one that diminishes and fails to take seriously the experiences of women. The other is how we collectively process and speak about loss. Speaking of grief can be seen as awkward and uncomfortable. It is an experience, though, that we all share. Feelings of loss are as valid as any other. Next month, families across Australia and on social media will be posting images of candles for their lost babies, a public acknowledgement to give families the opportunity to express their heartache and grief, important for some level of healing and comfort. While it doesn't erase the scars, the acknowledgement can help ease the pain. And if it can reduce the stigma and encourage more people to speak about their loss, our society is better for it. Recognition will help raise funds for research into reducing the incidence of stillbirth, miscarriage and neonatal loss. I acknowledge the fact that miscarriage, stillbirth and neonatal death are much higher for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander women, as well as women of culturally and linguistically diverse backgrounds. The perinatal mortality rate for Indigenous women between 2015 and 19 was 15 babies per 100,000 births, compared to nine per 100,000 for non-Indigenous women. And this gap has not significantly changed over a decade. We must do more, we must do better to close the gap. Because every year we de delay, for, and for every measure that fails, more Indigenous babies are lost. Deputy Speaker, infant loss is something that is incredibly personal and it can feel isolating, but help and support is out there. In November last year, Minister Kearney announced $5.1 million in grants to organisations that provide high quality, evidence-based bereavement care nationally for women and families who've experienced stillbirth or miscarriage. Support services such as SANS, Miracle Babies and Red Nose are there to help families navigate what is incre an incredibly difficult journey. I know this because they were there for me when I needed their support. I want to thank them for all that they do for those who have experienced such a heartbreaking loss. And I want to acknowledge to those who will share their stories both in this house and across Australia, it is, difficulty, it is difficult but necessary to ensure our babies are never forgotten. Thank the member. Uh, is